currently 6 40 monday morning and i'm on my way to work i'm so tired i had a really bad night's sleep basically my dreams have been really really vivid lately to the point where i don't want to sleep because the dreams are just so intense and usually it's stuff like being back in australia or like people from my past and it's too much so i'm just not sleeping well and it's been really warm so that might have been what's doing it i'm not entirely sure but yeah i was tossing and turning all night and I'm so tired and I have such a busy day ahead but what's keeping me going is knowing that as of Wednesday I have like two weeks of free time which is going to be absolutely crazy but it just means that I won't have to do these really early mornings for a while which should be good to be fair so this morning I am heading off to Childmind which I do almost every morning then I'm going to train then I've got a meeting for a new job that I might be doing I've got some delivery for my food for a bit Ugh, I can't even my food prep business then i'm back to child minding then i'm home later tonight so i'm going to take you guys along with me you can see what i eat on a crazy busy day what i get up to i need to drive to work let's go about nine o'clock I just dropped the little girl off at school and I'm free until about three I say free I've got a lot of stuff organized as you saw earlier I had a coffee which I have a very elaborate coffee making process I put some stevia in then I put some of the beanies coffee which is normal coffee then I add some decaf coffee just to make it a little bit stronger and a little bit of skim milk and I also had some dark chocolate with that and a little bit of Nutella now I'm gonna have a proper breakfast so I think I'm gonna have some yogurt and some fruit just something a little bit light because I'm actually going to train after this I'm gonna do a leg session today but I don't think I'll film it just because it's in this different gym that I usually train at and it will be the gym that I will be working at very very soon so I don't want to make people feel awkward I would say it's a little bit more of a normal person's gym as opposed to the gym that I usually train at which is more for bodybuilding and powerlifters so when I get my camera out there no one really cares in fact they quite like it whereas at this gym I think that people may feel a little bit uncomfortable so I won't be filming that I mean I'll be showing you everything I eat today and you're just here for the food anyway so let's make some breakfast because I'm hungry I think we all know by now that Greek yogurt is a staple in my diet. I always go for the 0% fat Greek yogurt, which is really, really high in protein. Literally per 100 grams, these have about 10 grams of protein. I think this one has 11. So they're really, really good. My favorite is the Arla Skia, but I can only find this in Asda. And so if an Asda isn't convenient to go to, I just get this one from Audi, which is literally Brooklyn Greek yogurt, pretty much same macros. So all I'll do, I have both at the minute because I only have a little bit left in here, is I open it up and then I use the My Protein Toffee Flab Drops. I've also got the white chocolate ones, but I'll be totally honest, I don't like them. And I just sort of give it a little swirl and give it a mix. So this is good because then I don't always have to do this every single time. It sort of flavors all of the yogurt, but I haven't got a heap left of this today. So I'm gonna use the last of this and then a little bit of that one. Actually, there's like a perfect amount left in here. So I won't even use that one. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that I either use those two. So long time no chat. It's literally quarter to one right now and I haven't picked up my camera in hours I just got a my protein delivery, which is exciting It's literally just some protein powder and stuff for my business, but I might share with you guys what I got later Oh poor Poppy. She wants to go outside I can't let you outside Poppy, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm still in a rush But I'm so hungry right now like I'm verging on hangry So I think that what I'm going to have is usually I have like a lot of protein bars to choose from but I think I one like in my whole house right now which is 
crazy for me and it is this tesco nutra what's it called nutra first rebuild high protein crunchy caramel vanilla flavor these are really really good one pound fifty in tesco they're really really hard to come by oddly enough but i do love them macros are pretty high so it's like 277 calories per bar 10 grams of fat but 15 carbs and like 20 protein or something I can't read probably anyway I'm gonna eat that one I'm putting some stuff together because for my meal prep I made a bunch of meals and I've got to go deliver them to a client we're gonna have that we're gonna have a big drink of water because I'm really really thirsty oh I'm gonna steal a few blueberries from my pile and then I've got to go to Asda my protein bar it was so delicious i ate it way too fast but i was getting very hangry got all my meals packed up and ready to go and i think i'm gonna have to stop at tesco on the way to get a cheeky excuse me to get a cheeky pepsi max because i'm flagging and i need it i'm such an addict but i don't care oh i feel like 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 i said today was a day in my busy life every time i pick up the camera i just want to be like okay i haven't filmed for hours but literally it's now half past two and i have Dropped off all my deliveries. I went to Asda. I got my Coke Zero. This is like story of my life, guys. I do condone artificially sweetened drinks, but like I really want a Pepsi Max, but the Pepsi Max was 600 mils and this was 500. And I just feel like 600 mils worth of Pepsi Max is a little bit too far. I can validate 500 mils, so I ended up getting that. I don't know why I'm rambling about this. I am about to do some cooking for my meal prep business. And then while I do that, I think I will cook up some lunch for myself as well. I have about half an hour until I have to go do the school run. And then while that's cooking, if I get time, I may speak to you a little bit about what I'm doing, i.e. food prep business. I'm not going to show you my secrets, of course. But I'm gonna do that. I have a bit of a headache today. I can't work out if it's because I have sore traps or because my hair's really tight or what, but really uncomfortable and I get that quite a bit so if you see me just like doing that it's because I have a headache now I have some time to like breathe and compose myself while I make this food and that's about it on these busy days I do not have much to update you on in my life and that's why the next video that I film and upload will be like what I do on a non busy day and I'll have a lot more time and energy to speak to you guys what I forgot to tell you guys is while I was in Asda I picked up I've shown this before I think on my youtube channel uh, peanut and caramel mulli yogurt again I don't like diet yogurt they're really not that good for you but to be honest I like the taste so I don't care and then I got raspberry donut flavor yogurt does that not sound really weird and of course I got that alongside another one of my massive ski yogurt buckets that I get all the time they're literally two pounds 25 in Asda so go get one of those I'll put this in the fridge the three things I eat most in the world are lint really dark chocolate yogurt and peanut butter just having some lunch now, which I realize probably looks like the most boring thing in the world, but I'm under such a time crunch. I have some potatoes that I just cooked in the microwave really quickly, some tuna, some veg, which I've already been eating, and then just sweet chili sauce. Easy, gets the job done, gonna eat that, then pick up little kids from school. And finally, I'm home. It is just about six o'clock. It's literally 5.56 and I am home. I have so much stuff with me. Like when you're at the house all day, I literally have to take two bags around me all the time, but I'm gonna go in, put everything away, take my shoes off because I've not taken my shoes off since 6.30 this morning and probably have a little bit of dark chocolate. As you saw, I had another Pepsi Max. Look, it's been a long day, guys. We are a judgment-free zone. I know it's not the best thing for me, but it's really hot right now and I just need something refreshing. I had an apple as well. Now I'm gonna go in and just chill for a minute. <laughs> guys watching me, hey, hey, what up? <laughs> So I have just opened this box that you saw me get earlier from my protein. Sorry, I must also add that I just opened the windows really like, I just opened the windows wide, that's what I'm thinking of. And I live on quite a noisy street at this time of day. So I will try and just speak over the top. But anyway, I thought I'd show you guys just what I picked up. I got some samples because I quite like getting these little sachets because then I can try the flavors and see if I like them. I got a protein latte, well, whey protein latte flavor, which I don't know, could be a hit or miss, but I'll have to try it out. I got the white chocolate because again, I was curious about that one. I got a baked cookie because they were on a good sale and I love these so much. And then I got the cinnamon danish whey, which I use for the protein pancakes for my business. So nothing fun there because it's for my business. And then I got the chocolate smooth vegan blend, which is again, 
something for my business for my protein balls so nothing too interesting but i just oh if i can recommend anything from my protein i would recommend these they're so so good this moment in the day that I cherish the most. It's like 8.30 at night, I've had my dinner, I'm listening to some really nice peaceful music, and I can just chill, and it's so nice. So I'm gonna lap this up before Love Island's on, of course. But as you saw, my dinner was some pasta, some veg, some turkey mints, some beetroot, some avocado, and it was so good, it was exactly what I needed. I'm having a hungry day today, really hungry, all the time. So yeah, definitely, definitely needed it, but I'm just gonna chill out for a little bit now. <laughs> So it's actually the next day now and yes, I am kneeling on the floor because that's just, that's just how I do things. I'm just so awkward. Oh my God. The old next door neighbor is mowing the lawn with just shorts on. Mate, I don't want to see old Harry back and your beer belly. Oh no. Anyway, I didn't wrap up my video last night because to be honest with you, I was not in a good mind frame. I told you guys that I felt really, really hungry yesterday, which is perfectly fine. My meat levels are through the roof and I had trained. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm looking a little bit rough right now, by the way, it's a non-makeup day today. I was just eating and eating. So you saw everything that I ate and then I think after I ate that, I had a big drink of almond milk and I had a protein ball. So nothing excessive. Oh, and I had some cereal as well. Nothing excessive, like I wouldn't say it was a binge or anything. I was just unsatisfied. And then once I had had those extra things, like I felt full and I felt satisfied, so that was good. I was responding to my body. But I wanna say that it's still difficult on me mentally to do that type of thing. But then I think that a lot of us feel that way and it's not because I have an eating disorder or anything like that. It's just because I'm human. If I eat more than I usually eat or if I eat more than I thought I was gonna eat, it does evoke some guilt and negative feelings. But that's okay because I've woken up today and I feel fine. And I feel full of energy and I look fine. I haven't ballooned overnight. So it's a reminder that nothing bad is gonna happen to you if you eat a little bit extra, you know? It's just, it's just extra fuel that you can use for your body. I ended up having about 2,300 calories yesterday and I'm not concerned about that. On a usual day, I get between 2,000 to 2,200 anyway. And some days this week, I've been quite a bit under. Some days this week, I've done extra exercise. So it all does make itself up in the end. It's not a big deal. And me saying this to you is also me saying it to myself. It works both ways. And I can look back on this and be like, Amy, get over yourself. It wasn't a big deal. So remember, there are gonna be times in life where you overeat. There are gonna be times in life where you undereat. As long as most of the time you're staying in like a balanced, maintainable lifestyle, you're gonna be okay. Like, you're gonna be fine. Just like there'll be periods in life, oh, this is getting uncomfortable now, where you gain weight and periods in life where you lose weight. It just, it's not a big deal. We make all this stuff out to, to seem like it's a big deal. and It's just not. So that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I finally have got some free time because I just finished up with the kids and now I've got, yeah, like two weeks off, which is crazy. So I'm gonna be filming some more videos. I'm gonna go on a nice walk today, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I know you guys like this type of video, so I did it for the people. Meanwhile, I'm gonna have to spend the next hour watching this um, topless old man mow lawn. It's so funny, it's like the smallest patch of lawn, but he spends about four to five hours on it and I'm not even exaggerating. Uh, uh, all the best. See you later, guys. Did I really just say all the best? God, I'm becoming old.